Andrew here with MNPC Tech and today we're looking at installing a 240 millimeter radiator into a case. So to start off just looking at the tools that we're using today, we've got Scotch 3M uh, 233 adhesive tape um, and this is nice because it's low tack so it won't leave any residue. Um, we've got our measuring square 240 millimeter radiator template from MNPC Tech. Safety glasses, always important. Then we've got our rotary tool with a uh, cutting wheel. Um, jigsaw with 18 TPI bimetal cutting blade. Our rounded side uh, hand file here. And our drill with 3 16 inch bit. For our install today, we've got a 240 millimeter Black Ice GT Stealth radiator, a couple of 120 millimeter Prolimitech fans, socket head M4 threaded screws from MNPC Tech, and a couple MNPC Tech honeycomb radiator grills. All right, so the first step in installing our 240 radiator is just to make sure that we have enough spacing in our case for making the install. So checking in the back, you wanna make sure that you clear the rear fan. And what's nice about the Define XL is they give you a lot of headroom back here for installing radiators, which is great. And then if you come up to the front, you wanna make sure that you clear any optical drives. And what's great about the Define XL as well is that you can install 280 or 360 radiators. So I've got the location set up for my radiator here and I'm just spacing it out with this measuring square so that we can get it exactly lined up in place here. And then I'm gonna be tracing the inside circles as well as the screw holes for this template. So for making our hole cuts today, we're going to be using a jigsaw, but an alternative if you don't have a jigsaw is using a four and a half inch hole saw cutting attachment. Um, and what you want to do if you go the hole saw route is make sure you find the center of your holes for the cut. So one option is using a ruler and making crisscrossing lines here, or you have the other option of using a wire fan grill, putting it in place and then marking off your center as well. So since we're using a jigsaw today, we don't wanna to have to cut two individual holes. So instead, we're gonna make this into one large hole. So what you can do is take your roll of tape and line it up on either side and then mark off from either side along this tape so that when you're done, you'll have one nice big hole for a lot of airflow. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is start off at an angle and start inside the hole so that you can go around it and make your initial cut. Um, and if you don't have a, a rotary tool, what you can use is a 3 8 inch or larger drill bit. And you want to start this on the inside of the hole and drill through so that you can put your jigsaw in the case. Before you use any kind of power tool, don't forget your safety glasses. Alright, so we've got our ventilation hole cut here, um, and the next step is to drill out the mounting holes. Uh, in this case, our customer wants this Honeycomb MNPC Tech grill installed, uh, and we, when we overlay this, you can see that there's a bit of overlap with the case underneath the more square corners of this grill. So I'm going to mark those off and then run them with the jigsaw just so we have a nice clean look underneath. The next step in our install is drilling out our mounting screw holes. Now that I'm done with my cuts here, I'm just going to go around all the edges with this rounded side hand file just to deburr any jagged edges and make sure nobody really gets injured in the future. So after I've removed the tape, I just want to go over all the edges on the top side with just a small hand file just to make sure that there aren't any jagged edges and you didn't miss anything on the cut. I'm ready to install my radiator now, so I've got my 120 millimeter fans that will go on top, and these are going to be drawing air up and out of the case. And you want to make sure that these wires are oriented so that they are in the back of the case, not the front, so you don't see them and they aren't in the way. So then I'm going to come over here with the grill and line things up a little bit. And then to fasten this down, I've got M4 thread by 30 millimeter socket head machine screws. And so I'm gonna start in one corner. And this can kind of be a pain because you need to just kind of wiggle things a little bit to get it to sit down. 
and then move along here and do the same thing. I finished up my radiator now and this is ready to go into the case. So I'm going to come over here and line everything up in the ceiling of the case and then take my grill and line that up as well. And then to fasten this together, I've got M4 thread by six millimeter screws that I'm gonna be using all along this. And then I'll use my wrench to tighten this down a bit. And then keep going with more screws. All right, so everything's finished up and we've got it looking nice and clean. And keep in mind, you can use this tutorial for using any size radiator in the ceiling of your case. So I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and look out for more tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching.